two Scottish Baftas, critically acclaimed West End star, avid motorcyclist, and a man who is desperately allergic to horses. It's James McAvoy. What is up, people? How's it going? And welcome back to The Zest. Now, today, I have a very special guest, James McAvoy! Woo! How's it going? Uh, good. Thank you. Thanks for that very energetic introduction. I wanted to bring it in straight away, you know? <laughs> is this your, like, first YouTube video you're about to do? Uh, I mean, I'm definitely on videos in YouTube, but this might be my first purposeful, consensual visit to YouTube. You know, we, we've literally just met now. James has just sat down. What, what is the best way to know someone straight away? I think it's by, like, knowing their secrets, right? So I thought today we'd play a game called One Truth and Two Lies. And you're an actor, so you, sh you, should, you should be able to make up some good things here, right? Oh, <laughs> right, okay. I don't want to talk myself up too much in case The scenario is, naughty kid, the most trouble you ever got into as a kid. All right, uh, I was in a close, you know, like a stairwell, yep. playing with my pals, and we were climbing up over the top banister of the very top uh, level. Right. Um, <laughs> and I decided to go over the banister and hang by my arms like that, and everybody was hanging by their arms like that. We're like, whirr. Uh, and then I decided to hang by my hands like that, and I was like, whirr. And then I couldn't get myself back up, and I was screaming and shouting, and they had to run across the road and get my granny and granddad to come and get me and lift me up. That sounds that's intense. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, that's the first that one. one. Uh, I was playing in my pal's house, and we got in an argument, and we started fighting. And then I hit him, his brother pulled me out. I went to go home and I went down the stairs and I got really angry. So I went back upstairs and I chapped him door and he came to the door and I punched him. <laughs> and then I ran away. <laughs> okay, right. And then the last one. I was standing at the top of the steps in my granny and granda's house and I was playing with my dog. And my dog had uh, was called Cindy. She was lovely. I miss Cindy. Uh, I was told she went to a farm, by the way. Okay. Yeah, never happened. She died. Anyway, um, <laughs> Cindy was at the top of these steps and we were playing and I was slapping her face a wee bit, but she, I know that sounds horrible, she used to love it, she'd be like, ha ha ha. <laughs> and um, this thought rushed through my head, it was like, I'm going to push her down the stairs. You know, you have those odd thoughts sometimes, yeah. of, like, I could do something in this moment. And, and I, as a kid, I followed it and I pushed her down the stairs. And she was all right, but she, I did push her down the stairs. That is so difficult, this, um, you know what, I think I'm going to go for this, uh, the second one, the punching one. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, it is. Yes! One point to me. How did I know that? I'm just too good. Right, now this is the chance for you to get a point back. I once pushed my brother down the stairs. Oh. I knocked a God Christmas so tree over onto someone's dog. Or I needed a wee whilst in a car journey on the motorway. I tried to go in a bottle without telling my parents and I dropped it in the car. So you pushed your pal down the stairs? <laughs> I love how you say pal as well. I pushed my brother down the stairs. <laughs> well, you're still better about it. You're like, I ain't no pal of his. <laughs> He's not my pal. He ain't my pal. He's my brother. He's my bro. Don't mean I need to love him. It's Push your brother one. downstairs. No, I didn't. I'm not that bad. I uh, I actually knocked over a Christmas tree on someone's dog. Me and my mate, we were hiding in this den, and we were like, we wanted to like trick people and pull this Christmas tree out. And it just, the dog's fine, I think. Nightmare. No, wasn't that great. So, right, round two. Your most surprising party trick slash hidden talent. All right, uh, I can breathe fire. I can uh, I know a couple of card tricks. Right. And I can get my knickers off without taking my trousers off. I reckon you can breathe fire. I can breathe fire. Yeah, I'm so good at this. I don't know, I just thought, I was just like, I, I bet you can do something really cool like that. Okay. Mine aren't as good as that. What are you just going Right, to? mine are, I can fit an entire soda can in my mouth. So like, long ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or big mouth. Um, I can put both of my legs behind my head. Right, right. Or I can do a magic trick. Oh, which magic trick can you do? Just a magic trick. So that's not true. Um, so it's behind, legs behind your head, or yep. it's a soda can. Yeah. Either way, you're selling yourself to. Oh, I just click then as I uh, lifted my leg out. <laughs> Either way, you're really sexy and selling up your sex. Okay. Get a wide mouth, or you can really tuck your ankles behind your head. Can you get your legs? You're really behind looking your head? at my legs well, aren't you? Can you get your legs behind your head? I think it's legs behind your head. <laughs> that's wrong. Mm. I can do a magic trick. Well done. What right, is the magic trick? Look at this. I'm going to show you. All right. So this is my chain. Okay. It's not going to break or anything. I need your finger like that. Right, your finger. It's on your finger, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the chain pass through your finger when I put my finger on top of yours, okay? So I'm gonna slide my finger up here. Now, my finger is on top of yours, so there's no way that it could possibly go through, is there? Because it's round your finger. Ooh. And it just came off! Ooh, that was really good. Boom. Was it good? That was, that was good, actually. I was right. actually on a TV show in Spain yesterday, and they did a magic trick, and it was... 
It was good. Yeah. But it wasn't as good as that. And it was a real magician. Really? This will really show your acting skills here. The biggest lie you've ever told and gotten away with. I'm not going to tell you that. Okay. I've got a wee wee at me. I've got a wee <laughs> Well, you know, uh, like, <laughs> somebody said the perfect crime is the crime that nobody ever knows about, right? Yeah, well, I'm about so, to release something so today. So you don't get, you don't get any of the kudos for committing that perfect crime. So I committed yeah. the perfect crime. I've got a wee wee at it. I'm not going to dub myself in that. Right, well, I'm going to tell you mine and you've got to guess mine. I went to an exclusive club once and said I was Lee Ryan from Blue so that I could get in. Because some people say I look a bit like Lee Ryan. You know Blue? From Blue? Does yeah. that still carry weight? Oh, sorry, Mr. Ryan. <laughs> I stole £10 from my mum and spent it on football cards. When my mum asked um, where the money was, I blamed it on my dad. And uh, I once said <laughs> that I worked for what an airline. What did you say he did, though? He well, I, was like, I was just like, oh, he took the money. My dad, my dad took it. He right, okay. went to the pub okay. with it. Um, or I once said I worked on an airline whilst checking into a flight and they uh, upgraded me to first class. Ooh. Oh, it's hard, you know. Lee Ryan, That's ten off. Do uh, I don't know, a uh, Lee Ryan. No. no uh, <laughs> I stole ten pounds from my mum and blamed it on my dad. I used to do that quite a lot. I used to be obsessed with football cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and pretty much every kind of like dinosaur or monster card. I used to take a lot of my mum's money. Sorry, mum. My mum doesn't know that, by the way. So sorry. I'm yeah. glad she knows now. I recall a time you tried to show off, but it went wrong. It's actually, coming up with the false ones is quite it's hard. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard, isn't it? So I'm walking down the street, and I'm walking away this ghetto, and uh, I see a, a banister, like a... You know those ones that you attach a bike to? Yeah, yeah. And you can chain it to, you know? Like yeah. So they're sort of like, just below waist height. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I decide that I'm going to place my hands on it with straight arms and flip over, and like do a full like handstandy flip over, do you know right. what I mean? <laughs> and it's all going marvellously until I find myself landed flat on my back. Damn. Later on that day, this is the second one, yep. I'm with that same girl and I'm walking down the road and I'm telling her a joke and I walk smack bang at ball level into a bollard. Wow. A bollard. Oh, no. Actually named. It's the worst. Ball level. I, I was, I was, I was um, doing a job and they said to me, do you ride horses? And of course, like every actor, at some stage in their life, I said, yeah, of course I'm. I'm a, an advanced horse rider, <laughs> and um, and usually you can wing anything. Yeah. You know what I mean. Anyway, so we go. I've got to go and introduce you to your horse, and uh, I was like, brilliant. I haven't ridden a day in my life, do you know. <laughs> and I'm like, brilliant horse. Let me go and see the old kicker or whatever. I was yeah. trying try to sound okay. And I go to the horse, and uh, and I and I rub my face up against its face, and uh, I'm like, hey, palm and all that, and I'm trying to stroke. I like, think you walked into a bollard. Okay, let me finish this one. No, I, th I think I think it's false. I think you, right, I, can, so I can tell. Right, I can tell. Right, I can right, tell. All right, that one's false. Uh, Bollard's wrong as well. Oh, right. no. First one was right. Oh, right, okay. I got expensive shots once for everyone in my group, and as I was walking over, I dropped them. I hired a nice car while in LA so that I could roll up to a club in it. I parked it outside and it ended up getting clamped. Or I changed some money to go on holiday and wanted to make it rain, so I did, and it uh, blew out the window. You what? I made it rain, you know? You Oh, you made the money rain? made it rain! I was like, what, so you did a, a rain dance? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think... You got your car clamped. I didn't. No, I um, I got expensive what? shots for everyone and then just like literally dropped them. I thought that was so just like every day. Yeah, Everybody's it's done kind that. of an every thought, day. Even if it is real, why would he bring that up? It's just me, isn't it? Yeah, well, thank you very much for being here, dude. Can I talk about my film for two seconds? Mate, go for it. I've got a film coming out. It's uh, January the twentieth. It's called Split. It's the thriller, chiller. It's gonna make you laugh. It will surprise the hell out of you going to see it. I've watched Please. it. Really like it. Thank you. Really, I was a bit scared. A bit scared? Yeah. Very scared. I was, I was holding onto the seats like this. Popcorn you, stuffed in my mouth. Did you laugh? I, you know what? I did actually laugh. Yeah, it's a funny I thought, film, I thought, I thought you were good. I it is really very funny good. as well. Well, thank you ever so much for watching, guys. If you want to give the video a like, do that. Subscribe and comment below who you think I should get on the zest next. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye bye. Cool. <laughs> mate, man, mate. That was sick.